everyone. Thanks for stopping by. I am doing card number seven of the Christmas 2016 card series. I'm going to be using the Avocado Art Stamp um, sets again. I uh, Card number uh, four was a Avocado Art Stamp. So um, they should, I have a lot of their Christmas stamps, so I'm going to be using those. The card that I'm making, I'm going to be using that, this, um, the little ornament there on this one and then oh and this stamp set right here sending holiday cheer your way and then I'm going to be using this little uh, snowflake thingy there and I think that's it now what I did was I stamped three trees with black ink and I scanned them through my brother scan and cut and they cut it cut out really nicely and it's kind of hit and miss like I said I'm still learning um, or I said this in my um, video number four. I'm still learning how to use the the brother scan um, and cut. There's I'm sure there's tricks and all that kind of stuff about it. So, all right. So we're going to use some of this really pretty memento. This is a uh, bamboo leaves for this tree. Now I can't use my misty in this because I can't uh, put the magnets down or the stamp wouldn't work. I already tried it. I have to admit it. So I'm just going to do my best. Um, it's not, you know, I'm not looking for a perfectionist here. I'm going to bring it just about like that. This thing right here is foam that I bought. I'm digging through my stuff. I don't have it handy. Um, online. I didn't buy it for stamping reasons, but it's sure working out good. All right, I'm going to set that right over there. Let's go ahead and put the rest of our decoration. Our decoration our um, stamps on here. I actually already did the sending the holiday cheer. So now I need to grab my white. Um, I'm pausing one second. All right, so I'm using color box pigment white and that's for the snowflakes. And then I'm gonna use this for the little ornament. I've got it on the corner of the acrylic block cause I don't wanna, I don't need to stamp the whole thing. I'm just going to tap it. I don't want to go, just because this pad is so spongy, I don't want to, you know, go all the way down and, you know, make it on my, get it on my acrylic block or anything like that. I do like this color. It's really a bright blue. Let's see if I can find the name of it. I can't find the name of it. All right, I'm going to put this little ornament right here. This one right here, and another one right here, and one more right here. A little bit of overkill, but you know what? You do that when you decorate your tree, right? No, nope, I don't have to put that there. I almost put another one there. All right, so got the tree. Now we're going to start putting our card together. I'm using Recollections Red Card Stock. And this is blue cardstock that I have in my um, bin over there, but I don't know where it came from. So I apologize about that. I do take everything out of its original covers most of the time, which isn't helpful for you guys if you want to do that, to copy it or to buy it or whatever. Okay, so I'm going to put that right there. This is four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to pop my tree up. I got some Stampin' Up guys here. One in the corner. One at the top. Before I do that, I want to put my tree trunk down. This is one of the avocado art stamp set. And I fussy cut this. I didn't use the brother for this. There we go. And I'm going to put him at the very bottom of that blue and try to get it right in the middle. Now I can put this on. Very good. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do is use my white pigment ink because it takes a while to dry. Or if you want to you know, heat set it, you can do that as well. I'm going to go ahead and pop this up too. And 
and these are just the right size that I don't have to cut them down. That wasn't intentional, but it worked out. I did a white back and a yellow front just to give a little bit more color to it. Try to get that, you know, positioned. I'm going to put that up just a little bit more because I still have the star to put on. All right. Let's grab the star. I fussy cut the star as well. I'm saying that now just because I had mentioned that I got the brother scan and cut. All right, now it's time to stamp our snowflakes. And I'm just going to tap it. And let me just do a test here. Here's a little scrap of blue. I'm glad I did. I would have been upset. I would have ruined my card. Okay, so this is pretty sticky. I'm not sure. if it's old or what's going on here. So maybe I should just, I'm just gonna lightly, with it being pigment ink, that's probably fine. So I'm just gonna lightly push down, make sure that all my snowflakes get stamped and bring it up. Okay, so let's do, oh gosh, one here. One here. Now I'm not going to be able to do my next step on video because this is going to take a while to dry. But I, um, when I did my first card, I used the Wink Estella, and I made the snowflake sparkly. So let's put this one here. Notice I'm being careful not to touch any of them. Honestly, I'm not really happy in how these snowflakes are turning out. I may have to do do a do-over. And I think maybe we need one. Oh, right here. And maybe fill up the spot here. Yeah, some of them turned out, some of them didn't. So, I don't know. I'll, I'll stare at it for a while and then I'll decide whether I want to do it over or not. But, um, you yeah, know, I just wanted to show you the, the design and that kind of thing. Um, you know, that's it. I think we are done. We did good. Very quick, very short video and a quick card, right? All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching and leave a comment if you have any questions.